one of the things we teach in our disaster preparedness class is how to put out fires. So what I always tell my students is, what kind of fires do you put out? You put out small fires. Small, small, small fires. Small fires. Small, small fires, okay? What kind of fires do you put out? Small, small fires. Small <laughs> fires, okay? So um, if there's a fire that you think you can handle, uh, we're going to teach you today how to use a fire extinguisher. There's different kinds of extinguishers. Um, so you want to look on your extinguisher and it will tell you A, B, C. So you're going to look on these to find out what kind of um, uh, what kind of fires this will put out. So A stands for combustible materials, regular combustible materials like wood, paper, cardboard. Uh, so those would be your regular combustible materials. B stands for uh, flammable liquids. So if you had some uh, gasoline or you spilled something, you'd be able to put that fire out with this. And the C uh, stands for uh, uh, conductivity. So if you had a toaster that was burning and you put water onto your toaster, what do you think could happen to you? <laughs> you could get electrocuted, okay? Yes. So if you had a toaster that was burning, you could put this because there's a C on it. It means that it's uh, capable of not being non-conductive of electricity. So it's capable of putting out an electrical fire. The way this works is you can see some of the powder on the floor. Is that powder? Uh, uh, asphyxiates the fire. There's the fire triangle. Has everybody heard of the fire triangle? Yeah. Okay, heat, fuel, and what else? Oxygen. No. Oxygen. Okay, good. What we do when we put out a fire is we get our extinguisher and there's a pin. This pin is so that you don't accidentally uh, disperse the uh, dry chemical. After you pull the pin, now this is activated. So let's aim it over here so you don't squirt anybody. So the first thing you do is squeeze it very quickly. Okay, good, just once, okay? Do you want to test it before you go in? We have a fire, she's tested her fire extinguisher. She's gonna walk up to the fire, and you're gonna say, going in. Going in. And you're gonna say, going in. Oh, All right, good job. Okay, come on in. When you get close enough so you can feel the fire, maybe about five, six feet, you're going to aim at the base of the fire. You're going to squeeze the trigger and sweep it side to side. Pass. Okay? Yes. Okay? So sweep it side to side. And then when the fire's out, you're, as soon as the fire stops burning, you're going to stop spraying. Okay? You don't want to keep wasting it because it could be another fire. And then you're going to say, going out. And you're going to say, good. So you never turn your back on a fire. So you're going to turn around and look where she's going. There we go. Good job. Okay, so she's going to walk. Okay. You're, she's going to show you where you're going. Okay, so walk out. Oh, I'm just making sure that the fire doesn't start again. Yes, because if that fire starts again, you're going to get burned. Okay? Okay, stop. Going in. Going in. Going in. Good. Okay. Good. Good job. Going out. Going out. Good. Well, if you have oil boiling on your stove, put the lid on it, or you can put a wet towel over the top of it, but do not throw water onto boiling oil. Somebody said, well, what happens if I use my fire extinguisher just a little bit? Is it okay to keep? Anytime you have a business and you use a fire extinguisher, mm -hmm. you have to call someone and they'll come and service it. So this powder, it's like uh, if anybody has ever had a, a laundry detergent, and when you get to like the bottom quarter of that box of detergent and it turns into like a rock, and it's hard to get it out and you're scraping and scraping, well that's what happens to uh, your fire extinguishers. That, that dry chemical, the powder, will cake and it'll be just like a big rock in there and you'll turn it over to go clunk, clunk, clunk. Well, it's not going to spray out to suffocate the fire. So if you have a fire extinguisher at home, uh, shake it up, turn it over every year. You should buy a new one every year. That's yeah. what we recommend. Uh, but if you use it a little bit, you can still buy another one. It probably would cost you $25 to service some of these smaller extinguishers.